Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. This outfit is utterly ridiculous. And do you know what else is ridiculous? Today's video, which is another episode of Janice Dickinson's Modeling. I'm so happy. We finished the deranged fever dream that was season one a couple of months ago here on the Chanel, my lovelies, with absolutely no storyline in the final. She was just kind of like, and that's what we're doing to do a modeling agency. And all my friends are... Deranged. Now little did she know, there's actually four seasons of Janice Dickinson's Modeling Agency and my lovelies, we're going to react to every single one here on the Chanel. Hooray! Everyone's a winner! Now I must actually say, in the first season of this, uh, what are we calling this? A mess? <laughs> in the first season of this mess, every episode was only 22 minutes long. And therefore I assume its airtime would have probably been a half an hour slot. Does that seem about right? Janice Dickinson's modeling agency, 30 minutes every Tuesday evening on a blah. I don't really know. The episodes from here on out, my lovelies, are 45 minutes long, which means each of these videos is going to be over an hour long of Janice Dickinson's modeling nonsense agency. So my lovelies, are you ready to experience something that I just don't know where to even begin with? Because the title of the first episode of season two is Christmas with the Dickinsons. Uh, he died for your sins. So get ready to put on your festive Christmas outfits because in the middle of February, we're gonna be celebrating Christmas with Janice Dickinson. And if that's not the most accurate portrayal of what on earth is going on in here on this day, then I guess there's just nothing else for it, is there? Christmas in February, Janice Dickinson, perfect sense. No. Originally, I did actually want to film a like, where are they now? What happened after Janice Dickinson's modeling? Ah! Unfortunately, as I was doing my research for this, a lot of the people that appeared in the earlier part of the season, such as the girl that when Janice met her, she was like, she was timeless by a bin. It was the perfect fashion moment. I coined it. I own it. I couldn't have find a lot of information on them after their appearance on this show. Now, I don't know whether we're gonna follow some of those same characters through into season two. At the beginning of every episode on the last season, she was just kind of like, and we're moving over here and getting rid of all of our people and getting a brand new set of models in. So who knows? I, I, I do you know? I don't know. Do we know? Should we find out together? No. So my lovelies, make sure you've got your beverages at the ready because it's time for another episode of Janice Dickinson's Modeling. <laughs> That's gonna get so boring. Boring, isn't it? Today I am back on the Monster Ultra Fiesta. It is my favorite. It is mango flavor. Although I do actually really enjoy the Lewis Hamilton flavor as well. I don't know where she is though. I cannot get hold of her right now. She's dead. And with that, my loves, it is time to pop in the Ochanger. And let's watch another episode of this absolute scandalous mess, shall we? I wonder what she's gonna say that's deeply problematic this time. Hello, whose pussy is this? Coming up on Christmas with the Dickinsons. Everybody's got gout. Oh, I see. So they've kept the same intro. Or is it? Oh, no, there's a jingle bell. Jingle bells, it's Lily March. Happy Christmas, ladies. It's Christmas. Yes. I say something belt and a poodle. Gout. Do your own gout. Christmas with the Dickinsons. Okay, what's going to happen? Joy to the world, the teacher's dead. Ever holiday special. Ooh. Christmas with the Dickinsons. In just a few minutes, you're going to be invited to get a front row seat to my holiday traditions with my friends, my children, and my models. Did she? Was she going to F that up there? Did you hear that? With my friends? Do I have friends? Said Janice. No. We have never seen her sit directly and address the camera in this sort of a way before. This is kind of strange. Is this normal for like Christmas specials? Why would you start a season with a Christmas special? Is that normal? Do people do that? In just a few minutes, you're going to be invited to get a front row seat to lips. my holiday traditions with my friends, my children, my and my friends. models. And let me just say this will not be just a traditional Christmas in any way. Oh, but first, I wanted to share way. with you my brand new music video. Over this way, girls. 12 Days of Janice. Wait, what? 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 On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a fledgling modeling agency. On the second day of Christmas... Oh my, my goodness! The Facebook crossies are going wild! What is this sudden fever dream? We are two minutes and 29 seconds into this video and she is already giving us a number one Christmas hit single where she's doing all this. Look at that hard front wig, no budget. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 
Two giant breasts and a fledgling model agency. <laughs> On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Me too, Three sis. former husbands, two giant breasts and a fledgling modeling agency. Is this what's, what we're On doing to now spread out over a 45 minute episode? Four Italian suits, three former husbands, two giant breasts and a fledgling modeling agency. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Five naked men. Okay, we have officially entered deranged. She's trying to make this into like a proper agency where she has clients. Although she ruined every relationship in the last season with any potential client that could have ever worked with her modeling agency. And now she's just like, oh, hello everyone. I've got breasts, five naked goiters. Like what is, what is this? Who is this? Who is this for? Were the fashion twinks back in 2004 just like, yeah, I'm in. Like, what is this? What are we watching? What's happening here? Have I slipped into a coma? The prophecy is true. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six paparazzi, five naked men. Six paparazzi. Four Italian suits, three former husbands, two giant breasts, and a fledgling modeling agency. <laughs> On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me ouch, seven doctors injecting six paparazzi, five butter, lovely men. Former husband's two giant breasts and a fledgling modeling agency. On the eighth day of Christmas, my okay, true love gave to me I guess. eight texas waxing, seven ducks injecting, six paparazzi, five naked men. Four Italian suits. Did we just see a penis? Two giant breasts and what? a fledgling modeling agency. Isn't she trying to be like I'm a high fashion day agency of Christmas, lady? My true love gave to me What's this? nine models prancing, eight texas waxing, seven ducks injecting, six paparazzi. Why, why also has she used like a weird filter on that nine doctors, seven doctors injecting or whatever it was? Why has she used a filter that's making her face go all strange? Like surely that's not what you want to be spreading as... Oh, do you know what? I need to stop asking myself questions about Janice Dickinson. Four Italian suits, three former husbands, two giant breasts and a fledgling modeling agency. On the 10th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Ten gays of primping, nine models prancing, eight texts of waxing, ten gays of primping, ten gays of primping, four Italian suits, three former husbands, two giant breasts, and a fledgling modeling agency. This has been going on for two and a half minutes. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eleven charges pending, ten gays of primping, nine, uh, Savvy Nate, what's that line? Shut up, Mom. You always, it's a, it's a shut up. Former husbands, two giant breasts, and a fledgling modeling agency. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me twelve boyfriends begging, eleven charges pending, ten gays of primping, nine models prancing, eight texts of I mean, it's camp, isn't it? Like, queen of camp, sis. But vile. Four Italian suits, three former husbands, two giant breasts, and a fledgling modeling agency. You could have asked me, you could have asked me for a thousand years, what do you think the first opening episode of season two of Janice Dickinson's modeling agency will be? And I would never, I would never in a million thousand hundred billion years have said, Janice Dickinson doing her own rendition of the 12 days of <laughs> Never. Who else is on ketamine, girls? I am. Me too. Just as a disclaimer, I'm not actually on ketamine, girls. Right. Do it, crowd now. The holiday season in Los Angeles always means to me Christmas caroling, Same. you know, going to gay bars, going and, you know, buying the frozen turkey and defrosting it, you know, and throwing it on the table. Instead of saying... <laughs> Christmas to me, going to gay bars, going caroling, and defrosting a turkey on the table. I don't Sure, you know, like, you can uh, if, uh, if you give her one thing, Janice is definitely entertaining, isn't she? She's such a wrong'un, <laughs> but she's so entertaining. Instead of St. Bart's, 
All I could afford was renting a cabin where I could get away. Isla right. Wild is a cheap man's version of Aspen, if you want. And right. I know it'll be a wonderful holiday celebration, especially Wait, with so my children, Gabe, Duke. And I'm also going she's to invite taking her children all and my models the up to the cabin to take oh photographs my of my very first oh. holiday card. That okay, I will we're send seeing to some of the other models. Clients. But before I can do that, I have one more piece of holiday business to tie up with what Christian Odege of oh the Ed gosh, Hardy line. So oh! Back with Ed Hardy, the people who were like, no, free time for print only, girl. All oh, right, here we go. Christian is the head designer for Ed branding. Hardy, which is one of the agency's best clients. He has a Christmas themed project Isn't that he loves. Do you even have any clients? Isn't this the only client? Do we see anyone sign with the agency as like a prospective client in the last season? Apart from that weird clip where her business partner, which we haven't seen yet actually, was just giving like money, with being like, oh, this is how much it costs to the shoe lady. Do you remember this? Do you remember that? That is the most random. This is a fever dream. This is a fever dream. This is such a fever dream. You've got no idea, girls. She pisses when she boards. Sometimes she shorts. Right, Where do you want me? Why, uh, I don't Why am I here? I work with Janice's uh, model uh, before, and those girls were super cool, and I want to do it uh, again, you know? Do you, though? Do you Are you sure? Who's this? Is this? <laughs> a float designer. Okay. I love this guy. I gotta explain to you. Is this for a I Christmas to, parade? I used to doing for the Christmas... Uh, Christmas parade. Christmas parade, okay. Hollywood. To doing a float. Uh, like a like a swim float in the ocean? No, 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 it's a parade float for the upcoming Hollywood length. Uh, is Christmas she off parade. her face? A, is she off well, her face? I think she might be a bit off her face. She's like chewing on this chewing gum. When mummy and daddy love each other very much, they take lots of cat and start to gurn, and that's why they have chewing gum while saying ridiculous things like, Do you mean a Christmas float in the ocean? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, drugs aren't funny, says. One of the biggest parades in the United right. States. The float is to showcase the Ed Hardy brand in the annual Hollywood Christmas Parade. It's a is nationally this televised fashion? parade that is extremely high profile. It's a great opportunity to promote Ed Hardy and my models. Okay, this is the very commercial. Anniversary of the parade. This is great. I'm Christian Odege's biggest fan and friend. His clothing designs okay. are extremely fun, and it's no surprise. They're very tattoo flash, aren't so they? Innovative. Oh, igloos. Penguins, igloos. It's gonna be a great float. Hello, we're gonna have snow, we're gonna have music, we're gonna have disco ball, a dance floor. Christian's got some fantastic ideas to yes. really make this a, a cutting edge float. It's gonna be quite unique, and I think Christian's gonna be very proud of it. And do model. Uh, uh, Thank you for sharing that. Sir. How much time do we have? We have three weeks. To three we weeks. Lots of polystyrene, girls. Yeah, they can do it, of course. This is such a great idea. It's the holidays, and I had a little Christmas shopping to do for my Nathan. He took charge of sorting out the details with Christian. Where's her partner? Her business well, I partner. I secretly snuck off to secure his Christmas surprise. Hey, Peace I'm out. Hey, Nathan. Oh, I'm going to be the liaison. Okay. Of course you are, sir. Is this going down the route of we're following Janice and her family? I don't know if this will be for the rest of the season because like a Christmas special always kind of usually has something a bit weird about them, like a bit of a different vibe, girls. That passion. But I feel like if this is how the season is going to carry on, this is very keeping up with the Dickinsons, if you know what I mean. But, but more like Courtney and Kim take Janice. <laughs> <laughs> This is deranged. What is this? What is this? I'm gonna be the liaison between Christian and the agency. Hi, so he must be 19 yeah. here. It's yes. a big job with a reoccurring oh. client. Yeah. So... I need to see those girls as soon as possible. Right. I need so a minimum of six girls. Six. We got the models ready. Yeah. So yeah. what are they gonna do on this yeah. flight? Just be like, yeah. I like to see them yeah. the week. So um, what would yeah. you think about for a fee for the models? Give me a proposal. I love the fact they've got like burnt and, uh, in subtitles. I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright, sounds exciting. Okay. Give we're me a proposal and we're gonna do it anyway. Obviously we love working with Ed Hardy. And sure. It's gonna be fun. He looks terrified. <laughs> right? Now we're in a dog park? Ever since Nathan and Savannah were little children, they've always wanted a puppy all of their own. Savannah always wanted Christmas? a teacup Yorkie Terrier and Nathan always wanted a baby bulldog. I'm Todd Howard from BigBulldogs.com, and I understand that Janice is interested in finding herself a little puppy. Oh, this dear. is Mr. Armani. Okay. Oh, Mr. Armani. Oh, look at the baby. You see, not just anybody can be a parent to a bulldog, and I know she's very, very busy. And if she's 
out and about and she's working 18 hours a day, I kind of have a concern and I want to know, is she going to be able to give the dog the attention that it deserves? Well, That's she's very, you know, very she appropriate. Is, she is, bless his heart. But I got to make sure that you can take care of this dog. Do you understand? Daddy's can't even take care of herself. Have you seen her? She's in an Italian fountain as we speak. I love the fact, though, that they have said there in this show, which was probably watched by a good chunk of people when it aired back in the day, that you have to make sure that you're not leaving dogs by themselves, especially puppies, for long amounts of time. You have to give them lots of love and affection and attention. I know these things, to those of us out there with somewhat of a brain cell to spare on occasion, <laughs> will know this innately. But it's also good to constantly tell people that, like, a puppy isn't just like, ta-da, puppy. It's like an actual life lifelong commitment of basically a toddler. It's basically a toddler. It's going to need you as much as a toddler is. Breaking news. Puppies, are they the new toddlers? This unhinged YouTuber seems to think. Do you understand? You got about 200 pairs of shoes that cost $3,000 each. What you going to do when he starts tearing them up? <gasps> Dude, what you don't know about me is I wear them once and I get rid of them anyway. Well, good for you. He's real cute. So That's not the point, sis. It? It's not my dog, it's for Nathan. It's my 19 year old son. Is Nathan here? No. Uh, to be determined, will be arriving for Nathan Christmas Day. Oh, wow. Yes. Now, let me ask you this how are you with flatulence? I'm not talking about your own, I'm talking about the dogs. What? Flatulence. You mean this dog's had a this fart? This dog's gonna time? blow bunnies all the time. It's gonna blow, blow your house if off. If I've survived two of my ex husband's flatulence, I, I could get over yours. Friends. But, honey, you said X. My first impression of Janice was uh, I thought she was kind of like me. Okay, okay, she's, okay. A direct, she's a direct shot. She doesn't really have a filter from her mouth to her brain, which is a good thing. I think That's that you not would a be really, thing. really good for this. No. Dog. I'm in Do love you? already. I don't. I'm just so in love. I think that she'll probably make a better home than the most because she has so many people around her and everybody seems to love dogs. So it's not like this dog's going to have one mom. It's going to have moms and dads from every direction at all times. This is that dog good? This truly will be a member of the family. This is very That's fast. Crazy. This well, is. I, oh, I sort of agree with Janice. He does seem very full on and intense, but like bulldog people usually are. Now I'm finally having the Christmas spirit. Savvy's teacup terrier was due to arrive Christmas Day. Oh. Tomorrow I get to go up to the mountains. Oh. I've rented this little house. I will redecorate it, and I'm gonna have a home cooked meal ready for the two kids, and then present them with. What did she just say? What did she just say? Listen to this. Tomorrow I get to go up to the mountains. I've rented this little house. I will redecorate it and I'm going to have a home cooked meal ready. I've rented this little house and I'm going to redecorate it and have a home cooked meal. Out of touch. No. It is the children who are wrong. Can, can you redecorate rental apartments? I mean, I guess I've kind of redecorated. But I haven't painted anything. I don't know. Oh, mm. And then present them with their puppies for Christmas. Puppies. Okay, so is she also going I to go and find a little Yorkshire Terrier? I'm on my way to Idlewild to celebrate the holidays. Idlewild is dark, eerie. He's got a lot of pine trees. Idlewild Beautiful. is tragically plaid. It's not really my style. I love the forest. I really want to go to Switzerland and visit all the foresty places. So Janice invited us to Idlewild to spend Christmas with her. Cute little charming house, but nothing seemed to work. And um, we just got here and found that it's not really too Christmassy inside the house. You suck, fire. What, are the, what is so that outfit? What everybody. are you doing? What is this? She's trying to literally light an entire log on fire. <laughs> The what house you really wasn't my cup of tea and such a bit of a dump. It was a little too polyester for my personal taste. Gabe, Duke, and Joey came up, Joey to run the kitchen, of course, to keep us all fed. We were fish out of water, complete guppies out of the ocean. So what happened next? They had a metal concert in the living room because, of course, she's just sung the 12 days of her. And now it's a metal concert in the polyester living room. Of course it is. No, take so you don't want to know how much these cost. Oh, oh, I got it. Why do you have to go? Oh, oh dead. <laughs> this is Tyra's revenge. Why don't we get candles ah! and Tony? Clock to the pageant. Did you hear that? This is Tyra's revenge. So this must have been when she was literally like removed from America's Next Top Model. Interesting. Oh, is there some bitterness? between Tyra and Genoise. Deranged. So what is this? Is this the seventh storyline that we're seeing in less than 13 minutes of content? What's gonna happen next? So she brought the models and the gays to this alpine cabin in the middle of nowhere with her personal chef to do whomst? Tyra's revenge. Why don't we get 
candles. I told Nathan to pack candles. Candles. Are we cooking like pilgrim style? You know what, Joe? <laughs> We've been here 15 minutes. So far, the kitchen has no power. So the lights are out and all the appliances won't work. So we got to find a fuse box someplace, hopefully, and get it fixed. Otherwise, I'm well, joking in the like dark. Well, it looks like you have power, no? Jingle Decoration bells. Stuck. Oh. A straight person by these decorations? Yes. <laughs> shalom, what? Shabbat. Shabbat, Shalom. It's horrible. This is really sad. <laughs> the chute hadn't been cleaned in years. The electricity kept flicking on and off. The toilets were overflowing. <laughs> My models were arriving in the morning for a photo shoot and a great Christmas weekend. Oh, a Christmas and photo shoot right and Christmas weekend. This would have been filmed in, like, this January as well. No, July, maybe. Christmas with the diggers and go! <laughs> right. Jingle bells, I've got gout. That bird's fucking dead. <laughs> this house looks like shite. It Ooh, looks like. Thank God you said it. It looks like a bag of royal. We arrived last night and a we bag walked of through royal the door effery. and we saw that it was an absolute Laura Ashley nightmare. It should be festive. And you know that's the worst yeah. kind of like, nightmare. Like Bloomingdale's. Like Bergdorf Goodman's. Oh, okay. This morning Janice told me that um, she needs me to go save the day and go Christmas shopping and get... Did you just carry an entire chair by himself? Like it's she's really a mask like queen. With mom, Who's this? Like What's this? When she's in Beverly Hills. Bad so, girl! You... Oh, people have said I should react to this. This... And you are not going to spend it on anything okay, no. other than velvets and gold and Twinkle Twilight and... And... Ketamine. And Nutri. Janice has asked me to find computers and go to Best Buy and go to every retail chain in the world. But as you can see, we're in beautiful Idlewild. <laughs> and um, I'll be lucky if I can get a nice nectar. What is this storyline? What's happening? She's trying to organize a photo shoot. Girl underwear on the way. Give me something hot for me, okay? <laughs> I decided to do a Christmas card for the agency and drive all the oh, models out here, cook for the models, right. give them the present of so that's the first what Christmas we're learning. card, and it's going to be a hoot. They're doing a Christmas card we're from here while. It's a beautiful the agency. It's a beautiful background. I always love being oh, in nature. Wow. I'm from Virginia, so I'm used to being in the woods and in the forest. Oh, that's nice. It's a shame she's confiscated your top. Next one day. He just got a job for French Vogue. Did I? Congratulations. Did you just say did I? You know what that means? Is that a lie? What French Vogue means to you, Mr. Chris Jones, is that you're taking yourself to the top by following all of the uh, grooming and development that I've been arduously nice. putting you through for oh, the last Oh, Janice, months. nonsense. What? By all the grooming. Yes, well, we all know that she loves a naked man in a picture, doesn't she? But she's just been like, of all the help that I've given you, have we seen her give any actual classes at all? Apart from, wasn't there like a weird booty shaking thing that she did in the last season and then was like no you're all too hoochie mama if this episode is anything that this season is going to go by i this is the most unpredictable show i have ever seen I, how do i even begin to like say like what what on earth am i gonna title this video <laughs> i've got a bucket of peace sweetie you through for the last several months so congratulations to you I work for you. Hey, brother. I work for you. And this is the pinnacle of what a male model could ever get. I'm really stoked it? about it. I don't understand. Apparently, it's a pretty big deal. Finally, I'll be making money for modeling. <laughs> you know what? Finally, Gag. you can just stop that and stop hanging out with that foy boy, pretty boy, Marcus Foy. Get over here. Yeah. Now, that's a look for the holidays. Get your friends. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Holy, oh, hey, you're about your dookie. Come here. Well, all right. She's. Oh, here we go again. You complaining? No. What's what's the matter? I don't like a little tummy ache. Well, that's what's in this. A little apple juice. Oh, really? That's rum. That's not rum. That's that's Jack Daniels. Dude, come here. That's a brand new bottle. You just popped the top. Look at Janice is always criticizing me, whether it's the way I talk, yeah, the she way is, I dress, isn't she? the, Don't the like this. in the air. Mm. She stays on me like constantly, like 24-7. Like she has a, a bad habit with that, you know, criticizing me. But I mean, I guess I got to deal with it. Your, your no, attitude should be that's... when you walk in on any location. Hey, it's great to be here, no matter how hard your ride was. Mm. Here we go, we're off shopping. 
She's very problematic towards Marcus. Even in the last season, we saw her do a black scent at certain points. And we saw her also like mock the way he spoke, the way he walked, the way he posed. This, like she doesn't do that to anyone else. She only does it to Marcus. It's really uncomfortable to watch because it's like, you have no respect for this man. Here we go, we're off shopping. I hope I can find Shopping! Something. You can find a steam powered wooden computer and a candle. I want to talk to the manager, girl. This kind of looks like Janice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we found our theme. Oh, what, gay, a gay bell? gay Christmas. Oh. How was the ride, Diabelle? Disgusting. <laughs> what? See, everyone what feels mean? sick. No, no, you, you, you don't feel good? But you right. It's catering you know poison them. Here's the deal. You can't say that to somebody if you show up because your clients are going to be pissed off at you. I was upset with Nia Bell. She doesn't know how to bite the bullet and just be a pro. I'm going to help her with it. Someone had to help me back in the day, but I knew ever since I was nine years old that I wanted to model even if my foot was being cut off, even though there were corns on my toes, styes on my eyes, blood coming out of my ass. I wanted to model so much, it didn't matter. I was always happy to be there. I want every model that ever comes into sure. a client saying, I'm really happy to be here. And then go in the bathroom and throw up if you have to. But never let the client, me or anybody else, know how bad you're feeling. Unless Is there's blood bad? coming out of every orifice, okay? Is that bad? I feel like that's bad i feel like you should be able to say like i'm not very well i might die and she's like no unless you're actually dead a dead body on the floor you should still be in your gucci modeling girls he died for your sins she's my agent i'm supposed to be connected with her yes if a model has something she's to so... tell you she will tell you i no, don't think so i need dismissive. to be lying oh i feel great while i'm not it's very American culture, though, to be like, smile while you die. You know, when you think of great gay destinations, you think Fire Island, you think Palm Springs, you think San Francisco, the village. Do you? But no one has anything Edelwild. on Idlewild. Idlewild is the gayest town in the world because I've never seen this <laughs> in Fire Island. What is that? These are built for Hello? I hope she likes disco gay. Gagged at the pageant! Gagged at the pageant! Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Gagged, gagged, gagged at the pageant. Wow. Okay. Disrespect here on this day. I can't believe it's actually taken us this long to get someone saying that slur in one of the shows that we've watched. Especially one of the, like, fashion shows. Hmm. How do I feel about that? I mean, it was a word that we used to throw around, so... I was initially shocked now because I'm listening to it with like 2023 20, ears. So I'm quite shocked to hear that word now, but I am choosing to watch something that is from 2004, five and six. This kind of era was very normal to say that word and it didn't necessarily apply to trans women or trans people in general. Sometimes it would just be a word that would be colloquially used to describe cross-dressers or androgynous people, shall we say. So yeah, goodness. Shocked to hear it so brazenly, but it was very normal. I used to use that word all the time. I still use it in my close personal circle now, but only with people I know that will find the amusement in it because it's my own slur. Ooh, but on television, national television just said so brazenly. Mmm, unsure you'd allow that about any other protected class. These are built for dummies. Hello? Disgusting. I hope she likes disco gay. This could be a complete disaster. Yes, it already is, sir. Uh, what is that? Something. Oh, a funeral Mama, parlor? Help me get this together. Get a bunch of models here. I work and so the models hard for my also... models. Now that we're all together for the holidays, it's time for them to work for me. Yeah. Just a little. Are they also free labor? This doesn't make any sense. What is Janice this? Janice, we have some present for you. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, hold on. No, we don't. That tree is about as big as my boots. Oh, right. me too, sis. <laughs> but the models, like, why are they doing this? Is this like last of the models? How many models does it take to put a tree in a house? There we go. <laughs> it needs a makeover. The music is this so is festive and upbeat for like dead mother is what, rolling in her grave. what we're watching. Dead mother. I just want everything to look the way I like it to look. 
Come the music is literally like da 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 da. It's Christmas time. Everyone's all mad. Da da. And what we're watching is people literally sitting on sofas doing nothing. Like literally, look at this scene here. This person sitting on the sofa is just like playing with a bauble, brushing their hair a bit. But the music's like look the way I like it to look. Comfortable. It's chaos. And festive. Oh my God, get out of my house. You, the best I've ever seen. The best that I've seen do it. That was how everyone else abandoned me now. The general vibe in the cabin right now is not really cohesive with what I consider to be holiday cheer. Merry it's probably because it's literally July. That's right thing, but, you know, this is Christmas with the Dickinsons. <laughs> I'm officially my mother on Christmas now. I have the biggest surprise of all. Trashy lingerie is, where... is kind enough to lend us some of the hottest Trashy lingerie. lingerie is that the what they're called? Trashy I've lingerie. I've been with this company for years. Wait okay. till you see this what we have This is a undisclosed advert. Girls will be in Christmas little elfet outfits. <laughs> How sweet is that? Not for you, Chris. Not for you. And the guys will be wearing boxer shorts. How about that, Marcus? I like that. Marcus, you like that? Because so, you can so. hang these out of your drawers. Yeah. And also an underwear company. Some of you will be in little red tidies. I'll see, Bob. What were you just thinking? You, you got all chilled? Who were you picturing wearing these? Maurice? Nobody in here? No. Who were you picturing wearing these? Somebody else. So anyway, the premise is that we're going to take a photograph Awkward. of me as Santa and you guys as right. just the elves, the elf. Right, so we've got cross-dressing Janice Santa Claus, Dickinson, really Von Patrick, Saint Nicholas. What is this now? Spending the holidays with Janice and all of the models. There's lots of wonderful food to eat and we're gonna have fun. She did not look like she was having fun. Look at her face here. She has been she has been pulled here under a hostage situation to model in the middle of nowhere as a little Christmas elf. The models. Look at her face here. We're gonna have fun. No, you I was aren't. Really hoping that we would have a photo shoot uh, with what clothes. Is this? Uh, but I'm glad that Janice uh, is confident that we have free to show up. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, I'm naked and doing photo shoots walking around naked all the time. Kind of comes with territory. I shot this 30 years ago when I was a supermodel slash photographer with the Elite Agency starring John Casablanca as the agent. I'm just replicating the idea that I had 32 years ago. Plagiarizing yourself, agency. which this is, is a absolutely a thing. Janice tickets and models, okay? We work really hard to get to this point. One entire year to get to this point where we can even like until we could be able to afford Christmas cards. Uh, she took a year to get to this point where she can take some photos for the Christmas card. High-end international modeling agency for the likes of French Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. I don't think. Link up your arms with Marlon, Nia Bell. Like, come on, make this buddy buddy. Don't just stand there. Help me model. Make it look like, a, you know, the North Pole Club. I, yeah, you know, make it look like the JD North Pole Club. They clearly are like, Have fun. this is We're not it, sis. Card. They We're are not feeling this. Thousands of people. All right, Daxie, shoot Thousands this. of people. Like, this is not. Look up. A horrible photo. Wait, is that even like I hate that camera click noise? Listen to this. Horrible. But look where they are. Are they actually on set here? We we can literally see the bars holding up the backdrop. Also, Janice was not posing like that when they tried to insert this picture in here. What is this? If you aren't actually going to use any of the location that you've decided to shoot at, why bother even going to that location? That doesn't make any sense. Who is this for? There's been lots of Christmas Another themes one? in my week this week. This is so weird. She's all like, yeah, yeah. Oh, sexy, perfect. Sexy the Christmas card was perfection. Christmas. Was it though? It was perfection. For we what? Have the shot. We've got the shot. Right, Why was that put in there? there? Big surprise it was perfection. As is, put some shoes on though. Now they've in costume got to go and what? What? Christmas with the Dickens as go. Charles Dickens. <laughs> right, here we are, back in the forest. Da, After the da, photo da, shoot, Janice had us meet her outside for a big holiday surprise, and oh my God, it was freezing. Oh, my nipples are erect. You guys, oh. we are going caroling. <laughs> are you serious? Yes, I am. Follow me. I had this.
brainstorm of, of Christmas caroling the models in their skivvies just to see who's going to whine and complain and who will just follow orders. I got my brothers. I've gone caroling back in my hometown before, but never in my underwear, so this is an experience I'll never forget. Caroling in underwear, a little weird. Very um, humiliating. Yes, never in, like, for why? We we were Could you imagine Elite Models Management doing this? Could you imagine Select? Could you imagine Wilhelmina Models? Could you imagine IMG doing any of this ever? Can you imagine to get cast in London Fashion Week, you have to go caroling with Janice Dickinson in the forest in the dark? What is this? Sh this is this this episode, sis, is something else. Why is this 45 minutes long? Janice is on a power trip here. Like, imagine taking all of your models. If it really was this cold, Never like if it's meant to be winter. Expected. We thought we were all getting brand new cars when we walked out there, but we had to go caroling in our underwear. Why would you think you're getting a car, though, sis? This has got to be, this is, oh, Nia Bell's not having any of this. Who are these people in the background? And again. <laughs> Pay attention, models. Several times a day, during the course of a model's career, a there is no Christmas anywhere else but them. And say, okay, let's go this down is to the clearly beach. in oh, like Did I fail June. to mention that it's 65, 55, 45 degrees? It's the middle of winter out here. We're freezing our butts off, except Nia Bell. She looks like she's uh, in the Caribbean. Over here, look at her. Sometimes a model's asked to do some of the whack, wild, crazy things, and this was one of them. Yes, All but right, for money, it. you're just like, ah, let's say. Two, yes. three. Hi. Oh, did they like, please put that there to see it's Christmas. The neighbors looked a little surprised to see 20s plus models in very little clothes in this freezing cold weather singing to them. Imagine, imagine you live in a remote place in the woods and you hear a knock at your door and you're like, I'm a god. Who's at the door? It's Janice Dickinson and her <laughs> agency singing jingle bells at you. There isn't enough Xanax on the planet for that. Janice Dickinson modeling agency just came by with a bunch of cool singers. You would expect little children carolers Lively. dressed with little stocking caps and things, but here we had the. And little what's this got to, to do with anything? I was a little bit distracted. <laughs> I can't believe Nia Bell actually had like a legitimate modeling career after this because this is just deranged. The Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency is ready to cheer for you today. This is what it takes for Janice, a Janice, you need to, to be making money. <laughs> I just wanted Where's to see business it partner? Turn and it turned Dead. out everyone had a blast. No, Janice. I don't know what planet you're on there, but sis, that is incorrect. Right, so they went to one house and caroled. It's a nice wad. Nice wad of lot. Months of all looks good. Yep. Oh, mm, yummy, it. scrummy. I love a good protein. You guys need a martini. That was egg yolk. Egg yolk is cholesterol, yeah, it's not protein. The gays are just laughing at her, aren't they? She's how just completely raised. It's possible to find. Really? Yeah, it's going to That's how I like it. Merry Christmas. Come on in. So I drove up to Idlewild with my sister because my mom would be doing Christmas dinner. It should be fun. So her son does sound like all he's done is shouted for the last 28 years and now he's trying to just have a normal conversation and he's got like a stressed throat. How am I meant to do commentary on this? Like, what is this? <laughs> Here are your gay Hello. uncles. Gay uncles, lovely. Well, here's the deal. Duke and Gabe not only do my hair and makeup, they've become family. Have Most they? importantly, Joey has always been they? there for me. Have so you Christmas with them? the Dickinsons or holiday with the Dickinsons is why I have my gays along with my children. See, because they're my children's gay uncles. Ugh, I'm so tired. Rich people. Oh, they, they, so she really you. sees, she really sees the gays as just like an accessory, doesn't she? She really sees LGBT people, in fact, not even LGBT people, just the gays, because she was very disrespectful to trans people in the last season. She just sees the gays as like an accessory to her wild, wacky life with Janice Dickinson singing Christmas carols in July on the front porch. Oh, it's exhausting, isn't it? I'm so over this trope. I mean, I know this is back in the day, but still this trope of like the gays are an accessory. No. 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 Absolutely not. Christmas with the Dickinson's go. Christmas, oh, oxygen, Christmas. Da, da. I've got 
got glitter on my Sages girthy. Zone. What are you doing? Security, will you? Oh. Nathan, you're always so paranoid. Buying. Do you need help, Nathan? No. Janine's back. Nathan's intent was just to close the blinds. Nevertheless, it was typical Nathan. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> dead. Oops. Jesus, oh. Nathan. Well, what is that? What is that? Plastic tat. What is it? Get off. Go away. Right, oh, now, dead. Look. The house. Modeling. Me, dead. Just kiss me. And cold. sexual harassment in the workplace. Too germophobic. Savvy, kiss me. I got a cold sore. You don't have a cold sore. Nobody right, wants son, to kiss, kiss Janice. Oh, I have a cold sore. Nobody wants to go anywhere near no, Janice. Have herpes, okay? Very appropriate. Don't hit him. Sir, <laughs> Gabriel, kiss me. I love you. Nothing. Being too often comment on how disgustingly vulgar you are. You know what? I gotta concur with that. You pretty, you, you are vulgar. Savannah, what's your what's your biggest darkest secret what about uh, Nathan? Tell Duke, Gabe, and Joey. Oh. What? Ah. What? Ah. what? Ah. The horror of this computer. You had the horror of your computer. After Santa comes, and mind you, I've had a long day. We're going to take half your gifts. You'll decide which you're going to give the homeless and the underprivileged. Do we have to give our stuff, or is it just like in general? Let's half give all your stuff. Half the gifts are. <laughs> that was great. No, each. See, look, Gucci performative mom. charity. What? <laughs> Where's this coming from? Your child's a genius. <laughs> Where's this coming from? <laughs> what I love about being the most dysfunctional single mom alive is that I've raised two children who are the most generous, wonderful, the selfie girls. kids alive. What is this? I'm Catholic. Where are all the other people? My father's a Jewish, so I had to do, you know, some creative decisions on this holiday. I'm only half Jewish. Can I light all, just half the candles? You know what, stop it. Now light the candles and say the prayer. No, I'm still putting it on. Oh, stop this it. Feels it very, very, this feels very... That's not how you do it. Wait a minute, stop. We have to take the ham off the table. This is not right. All right? This is not kosher, and it's got to go off the table. My mom had me light a menorah. And now... She thought she was being nice, but it turned out... Jewish folk know, music. Nathan, seriously, do, do honor, honor this. You were bar mitzvah in, in Israel. Just do it. Well, they just spoke Hebrew. I didn't know what was going on. Just, just do it. Come on. Nathan, do it. This, right, okay, right. Why is this... Can we tell this... the whole story? Tell the story. I know the story. Nathan, do it. There's, like, all, all the plagues and stuff. With only one night's worth of oil... They went for eight nights. That's beautiful, Savannah. Bravo. All right, let's do this holiday thing now. Come on. Yes. Sing this. Let's sing it now. Sing it. Hava, Nagila, Hava, Nagila, Hava. What are you laughing at? Wow, sure, you. you know, why not? Insult everyone along the way. This is Janice Dickinson's insult agency. You know, Coca-Cola was the first brand to invent Santa Claus, like the look of it. Dude. Wait, what do they do in South Africa? Santa Claus was patient. Yeah, but no, Santa, Santa Claus, Claus was the brother. Coca-Cola, mom. They gave him the red. The they gave him the red. red and white. And yes. Is that actually so very commercial. They, 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 <laughs> So yeah. what I'm hey. hearing is he was, he was hey. a cola actually, or he possibly wore a dashiki. <laughs> Nathan, why don't you go over near the tree? How is this and how is this so offensive? The tree. Shut your eyes. I'll be over two seconds. All right. We screwed up the decorating, the menorah, and Santa Claus, but I sure do know how to do presents. And now it's going to be puppies, right? Now it's just puppies. Hello, everybody. Hello. Puppies. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Shaking. Oh. Merry Christmas, firstborn. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Merry oh. Christmas. <laughs> for me to be able to hand over to my children what they really wanted for Christmas, puppies, was the Biggest I feel like I this is have. quite wrong. She gave me my gift, which was unbelievable. I got an English bulldog, which is something I've wanted for the longest time, and it's just it's the sweetest thing you've ever seen. Savannah got a Yorkie, and it's it's like the size of, it would lose in a fight to a guinea pig. It's it's adorable. Listen, I just wanted to be able to just give you guys everything you wanted. What was going on in the back of my mind was I'm going to be picking up the <laughs> cleaning up the piss, wiping the dogs, you know, picking up the oh, vomit. Oh, vulgar Janice is back, That's girls. Boy. Oh, hi there. I think Janice is going to end up delegating picking up dog poop to everyone because the day that yes, woman I would actually agree picks up that. dog is the day pigs fly. Yes, oh, I like can end that. Yes. Doggy, 
Let's take this off. Anytime I go away with Janice anywhere from Idlewild to Aspen, it's always fabulous because we always know how to make the best of even the worst Oh, is this like, oh, it's family coming together. Janice is problematic. Yay. Is that a boy, right? Yeah, I think so. They're both boys. Oh. And they're both boys. Gay dogs. Your dogs are gay. <gasps> gay puppies. Oh, Wonderful. I, just, I hope my dog's gay. Merry Christmas, kids. Thank, Thank you. you, Mom. Christmas with the Dickinsons, well, was Christmas with the Dickinsons. Oh, different outfit. Continuity, girls. Dead. I've splashed my face. Oh, no. Right, we're going into the fire. Christmas with the Dickinsons, go! Oh, there he is. Da, da, da. Da, 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 it's the da, day of the holiday Christmas parade, and of course, Christian arrived to escort us right, all to the parade. Right, here we go. Yes. I'm so excited. Oh, what is she wearing? What is this? Is this Ed so Hardy? I was honored that he asked us to be part of the float that he designed for the Ed Hardy label. So, okay. how is this yeah, high fashion? This huge float. The models are on their way over to the agency in their Ed Hardy Christmas attire, and I can't wait to see their outfits. Oh. Hey! Oh my god! How are you? This is very costumey though. Like, what is the point? Oh, hey. It's just Christmas Super acting, cool. right? Very sharp. Is that twenty pounds Snappy each. <laughs> Super cool, Crystal. Super cool, Naya Bell. You're not gonna get cold. Pierce, you're rocking. You're like, you'll be the head elf, and these are your elfettes. You know, we're about ready to go to the parade. All the models look fantastic. Kristen is so handsome in a Santa Claus outfit, and I'm Mrs. Claus. So off I go to do the float on Hollywood Boulevard. Obviously, because naturally, that's the natural progression of the evening is to go and do a Christmas float after holidaying in Idil. Idil shit? No, that's World of Warcraft. <laughs> It is Crystal's first time in the little yes. ever. To be a part of the 75th annual holiday Christmas parade is definitely an honor. I watched this parade growing up and it was also glamorous then. I guess this is like an important part of cultural history of in America. Thousands of millions of people lining the streets, I guess. gathering their children to watch the 75th annual but holiday parade. But how is this parade. high fashion modeling agency? Where? The is float. the right fashion. Now, the driver can't find the float, and we're like in the middle of Hollywood Boulevard with thousands of people once again. And the police cannot find it. Even the cops can't find it. Oh my god, I thought we weren't going to make it. Mr. Driver, sir. Oh, of course, extra drama. Lost? Will Janice make it to the pageant, girl? Make it. Mr. No, Driver, dead sir. Now. Are you lost? What's the matter? How are you? You Hello. can't get through? Hello. No, I Officer, hi. I want to kiss the police. Can you come with us? Oh, bless no his face. Thank you, sir. Huh. I feel like we're like a rock star now. The police. <laughs> a police escort is not what it's cracked up to be. The holiday police came to our rescue and escorted us right down the holiday route. We made it! Oh, do, 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 do. Goodness me. Right, here we are. Photos. Yes. Not well, to this is the closest I'll ever get to being in the Janice Dickinson oh. modeling agency. I'm in love. Oh, you know what? It's not you that's in love. It's it's all of us that are loving you. Oh, thank you so much. Merry Christmas. I don't know how she does it. It's incredible. She comes out with all these answers to every question. But that's She's like the most incredible experience to like watch her do her thing. Hi. So this this show well, is very tonight, much like with celebrity. Janice Dickinson's amazing. Morgan. She does awesome. this. How does she know to do all that? It's great. What she does is beautiful. Uh, it's just Janice Dickinson's show. It's the I Janice Dickinson it. show. Oh, it's not about a modeling agency. It's about it. her chaos. The Janice Dickinson Ed Hardy cool. modeling. I'm on the float. It is just She's on the game. Showtime. All right, I'm okay. Ready for the world to see. So it's freezing here in the middle what of does this in mean? Who's I'm buying this? Is this a successful commercial successful success? Or is this just Christmas? Christmas lady, y'all. Oh. Real, like amazing. Because when I seen all the girls put on their all the outfits, I was like, yeah. Right, because that's what you want to do to sell things, sure. I was so happy to book this job. Just waving to all the, the fans on the float was so amazing. I had fans. the best time. You were not waving to your fans, sis. You were waving to pedestrians. <laughs> with the clothes and the float to give back to the community. That's what we're here. How are you giving back to the community? We always give back. Where? 
there. Where are you giving? Where is that lady nearly hit by the truck? There was no stress, no pressure, no run through. All we had to do was just wave to the crowd. That float is actually cute. Is this modeling? Is this modeling? Oh, the gays are not allowed on there, no. It was so much fun. I mean, I didn't want to leave. What was that? What was the point? So I dragged them all back to the agency for a right, little okay. unwrapping and a little unwinding. Yes, right, so we're doing the wrap down party. Yes. Now what? This great float for the community. Do we Christian's all get a little free plastic this bag? This is why Christian has been a friend of mine and I've been an ardent fan of Christian's, you know, the entire time he's been designing. So Christian, thank you from the girls. Oh, thank you. Oh, is this the Christmas Natalie, card? thank you from oh, the agency. Oh, Christmas cards. Oh, Fargo, thank you from the agency. Miss Niabel. Surely they would like to be Piercy. paid. Thank We've you. not seen Little anything Crystal, about the models ever getting paid. You were paid. so good blowing those kisses to the penguins. Did she not? And Marcus. Can we open these now? You may open them. So, why did she give it It's our enough? very first Christmas card. Hideous. What's the point? Can we even, what, what even, look, look, what Christmas is the photo? Card. Seven pixels. You get seven pixels. Happy holidays from the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. What's the point? What's the point? What, what's the point? Bird. Super cool. I can't hear what he says. This is really nice. So keep on giving. And the most important thing you can do is give people smiles and give people warm embraces and just go out and rock it because you girls really kicked ass on that flip. You too, Marcus. Thank you. This there was no budget in this episode. They were just like, Christmas special, yes, what should we do? On the parade float and get a cabin in the woods. What was the cabin in the woods? And she even said, like, my models are staying with me for a Christmas weekend. For why? For what? For what reason? Why? This will be a Christmas with the Dickinsons to remember. Will it? Nothing went perfectly. Our cab was ugly, my models got sick, and we got lost all the way to the parade. But still, I was able to spend my holidays with the people I care is most this what about. It's what it is about, like, um, my children. The my chaos, life may be family. unconventional, but it is mine. And I wouldn't trade it for anything in the whole entire world. This whole thing is just an advert, isn't it, really? The, 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 oh, here we go. The making. The making of. What do you think about your mom with five naked men? <laughs> Janice Dickinson is volunteer for Fear Factor because we are going to hit her with whale testicles. The wrecking balls are going to come down and hit you. What? <laughs> Do they hurt? Did I do good? You did great. Yeah. You all fell. Not, How not was this like down. produced we're and all these people the were paid? Oh, this is when she screamed, five ugly men. This is really rude. <laughs> Coming up on the second season of the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. No, I want it to be a surprise girl because I don't know what earth is going on. I've got some thoughts. So my lovelies, I am going to take up my ochinger there and just say, once again, are you so excited for this entire season of utter chaotic nonsense? Not only in this episode did we see Janice's general chaotic behaviour, dismissive of models feeling sick when they arrived, also incredibly insensitive to other cultures and other ways of living and other religions at her dinner table. Generally quite rude to people, especially in that modelling thing. And starting this episode with a... 12 days of Christmas style Janice Dickinson mess. How was this a show? How, what, like, was this a success? How did this go for four seasons? Who was watching this show? We saw at least seven different types of plot points in this episode. And we were introduced to puppies and then just like never see the puppy again. I wonder if we will see these puppies throughout this season or if they'll just be like, she got puppies at Christmas and then never again. Uh. I really don't like the way that she treats Marcus. I feel like there's definitely a position of authority and oppression happening there because she's really, she mocks him at every turn and it's kind of difficult to watch. Like beatboxing isn't for me. 
and I know that he was a beatboxer in the last season. I think it was for the Ed Hardy episode as well. He did um, beatboxing for everyone to walk to. And she mocked him and I was like, like, it's not my thing, but I wouldn't be like, oh my God. <laughs> it's just really disrespectful. I find Janice's whole demeanor quite disrespectful. Like sometimes what she says is like camp and ridiculous and over the top and nonsensical, but then it very quickly steps out of like silly fun drunk auntie into actually being a problem. Occasionally I will agree with her on something. And then most of the time I'm like, mm, no, <laughs> no, Janice, no. Well, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode of absolutely nonsense from end to start. And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. We have a bunch of brand new patrons who have just joined my lovelies. So I want to say a massive hello and welcome to the Chaos Collective, Darina Penner, Scarlett Park, Samantha Vizza, Holly Rehan, Christy Farrell, Joshua Ainsworth, Tasha, Rachel Jennings, and Alison Bibersek. Thank you guys so much for joining the Patreon and allowing this channel to both thrive and survive. If you want to join the Patreon, my loves, the link is in the description box below. You get access to archive live streams, you get access to outtakes, and all sorts of other little goodies along the way. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Fish Food 7. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning fish on the go. If you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays, and I stream every Monday and Thursday, my loves. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons Aloria, Dr. Dream Morella, Laura Ali, Luke Peterson, Orko Samoji, Andy Henry, Auto. Tom Holly, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Camille Sarah, Casey Donahue, Shell Herman, Christina Crownover, Christina Kyle, Connor, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Danny Smith, Deborah Gwynn, Donuts for Life, Dr. A, Jevald, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jarrod Pavlovsky, Jen Martin, Jennifer Herman, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Catherine Ritter, Lane Wade, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Mary Siren, Mazel Morel, Megan Holly, Min Min DM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Moldy Apple, Nadia Hamdi, Nixie Trump, Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Pink Caramel, Princess Lillian, Rachel VZ, Biscuit Romano, Ryan Vita, Sexy Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Sushwa, Stefutex, Succubus Lena, Summer Neff, Travafol, Tromo, Victoria Carella, Zaya Naza, and Zoe Zevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm gonna leave it on the notes of, if someone tells you, oh, I've just been in the car and I'm so sad, sick and I've just arrived at your ridiculous cabin in the woods, Janice. And you respond by saying, don't you tell me all that part of it. You can get in the bin. <laughs> and with that, my loves, I will see you in the next one. What was that? Unhinged. Completely deranged.